hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and this is a video in which i'm showing you the kiwi youtube tutorials well basically that's a kiwi md tutorials so uh let's not talk about this further so uh basically if you are new to kiwi then you must learn uh then you must see what uh, the kiwi is and what things kiwi can do as well as Kiwi MD2. So I'll be providing a link in the description to, you can read the docs if you want to apply for Kiwi MD. So let's just dive into the video. And as I said, if you're new to Kiwi or Kiwi MD, then you must install these things, first of all. So uh, you, for this, you must, First, open your terminal, and the terminal will be opened up like this. So, you must be familiar with Python and Python languages, I suppose, you to be, because you must. And if you're not, then you should learn first that too. Right. Uh, let's start. So, by installing, by writing the command that's pip install kiwi and as i have installed it before this video so uh this will say me requirement already satisfied etc etc okay so you will write the simple command and will there will be no errors in the process of installing this so uh, the next thing i will be doing is pip uh, install Kiwi MD. So Kiwi MD is a material design uh, module created for Python Kiwi, basically. It's for Kiwi. So this is also requirement already satisfied as I've installed it. So boom. Now uh, let's start up with the basic code uh, that you must. Uh, you must do the checking of the uh, importing apps, uh, sorry, importing modules. This is the basic thing that uh, you need to perform and this is just a basic app made uh, using the TV MD. So basically what is the structure is that we will first import the app or from Kiwi if you're Kiwi using Kiwi. Uh, as and as I'm using Kiwi MD, so I will be importing MD app. Okay, so and I'm using Kiwi MD, so I will import everything or most of the things from Kiwi MD, not by, by from Kiwi. But I can also do it from Kiwi too. So let's not confuse you. So let's just start this writing code, and that's the screen is equal to MD. Well, I've not imported it, so I need to import this first. And for that, you don't need to go uh, on the lines one or two. You just you just can press Alt Enter and just click on the first option that import Kiwi MD UI screen MD screen. And boom, it will be imported directly. You don't need to go there, write code, and you also don't need to find these things. That was when I started, I was facing a lot of problems because I didn't know this command Alt Enter. So you need to know. Okay, so what I'll do now is um, when we need to have something on screen, uh, we just add a widget. We just create a widget and add it to the screen, like uh, this one screen dot add widget. So we not add widget, and I want to uh, add a button. That's basically the rectangle flag button, as impo uh, I've imported it. So um, let's write it as MD rectangle flag button, and uh, let sorry text. Will be as we write uh, 
first thing when we run program that's hello world and that's a basic thing we need thing we do as a code so that's hello world okay uh, and uh, let's give it a position hint um, that will be something like in the curly braces so so center x will be 0.5 and center y will be again 0.5 <coughs> now i will be returning the screen okay so let's run this you can also press function if you're using window then alt uh, I think shift F10 it is. Let's see. Shift F10. So I need to alt function shift F10. Run. Okay. Uh, it might work. Boom. It worked. So, hello world. It worked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is a rectangle flat button, as you can see. So uh, this is the basic thing we can do. We can uh, do many things with QV and QVM as well. So as this was the first video, and I will be covering more of them in the upcoming videos, the widgets, the Things we can do with Kiwi as well and Kiwi MD basically. So let's try one more thing that's a, uh, for the theming. So that's self. Self dot. As you must be familiar with some things, that self dot is self. That's uh, the main method that's uh, defined in the class main app. Okay. So in the build method, we define self.theme class the primary palette. Primary palette is something you can say um, main color of the app. And the primary palette suggests that you know, the widgets you create uh, that you create in the app will be colored as primary palette. So let's do this. Primary palette, let's keep it purple. Well, if you well, if you want to uh, see how much color variants or color objects there are present in the Kiwi MD primary palette, then you can just give it an error. Just like I want violet. Well, violet is not defined color in this uh, primary palette. So let's uh, try. So as theme manager, primary palette is set to an invalid option because as I said, while it is not an invalid um, attribute or valid option over here, so it shows you must be one of red, pink, purple, deep purple, indigo, blue. Let's just copy this. And come on. Just copying it. And just paste it, paste it over here. It's coming. Okay, so we can do anything here as well. Okay, so you can see these are the colors we can have. So let's just do it red. Mm -hmm. So the button, uh, the rectangle flat button we created has just converted its color into red. That's the theme, uh, that's the basic use of theme manager. Uh, we can say that this theme class is an attribute of theme manager. So it, created, uh, so it converted or it changed its color from blue, from light blue to red. 
and we can provide it many other as well that's good thank okay maybe thank you you can see maybe any color over here so this was the basic use of theme class primary palette and the basic 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 application you can see it's the shortest i think no it's not the shortest one because you can uh, you can provide it a label over here in the shortest one well i suppose it's done so that's all guys for this video and stay tuned for uh, my next videos and by stay tuned i mean like this video if you like it and share this and comment if you have any doubts regarding anything and last not but not the least subscribe the channel so uh, let's end this video now the last time let's run this yeah boom hello world okay bye bye